G'day guys, how are you? In today's video I'm going to show you how you can make a file backup program using VB in a standard Windows desktop application. So not the Windows phone that we have been doing over the past couple weeks. So I'm going to go to Windows application, classic desktop, Windows form. If you're using 2005, uh, 2015 Visual Studio, then that's it'll be on the classic desktop. Otherwise, just find the Windows form application. I'm just going to type in here, data backup pro program one so this is our name of it now of course if you say uh, you could do this without making a new program say if you've got an application and you want to back up the database then this is an awesome way how to do that without having to run a batch file um, it's, you could have it built into the application uh, rather than running shell and having it use a different application okay so we don't want a button so we're going to go ahead and add two text boxes I don't know why I had the button then Brain was somewhere else. So this will be our source and this will be our destination, I suppose. And make them be bigger because, yeah. And now we want to add buttons because now I know I've got those text boxes. By the way, I'm just doing this straight off the block, so if I do make any mistakes, uh, bear with me because I've just decided to, hey, let's make a backup program. I, I've decided to do this because I've seen that people, like I was just on YouTube actually, and there was a guy and he you recommend using a batch file. Batch files are cool, I mean, whatever. But it just kind of seems like if you want to be a bit more professional rather than having a black box pop up, wouldn't it be cool if they just did it and you didn't have to worry about it? And it just said it did it rather than having black boxes pop up and kind of intimidating clients. So, yeah, that's the reason why I'm making this video. I'm going to change this to save. Uh, of course, you could have it so you just press save and you don't need any of this stuff, but I'm just showing you the basics of how to get started. So now what we want is we want to file the file the um, browser dialog. So just kind of put that anywhere on the page though. <laughs> so we've got folder browser dialog one. If we go on properties here, we can see a selected path. Now, if there is a particular path that you want your folder browser dialog to open up in, then go ahead put that in. But just for this video, I want to open up in the C drive. I'm not that capital C because I like to yeah use capitals. And now let's get to it. So I'm going to double click on the button one here, which is this will be like my click on this and it opens up the folder dialog. So let's begin. <coughs> All right, so let me just think what I'm going to do with this because, like I said, I'm just doing this to the bat. So uh, let's begin by clearing the text box, I suppose. So text box one, the text equals nothing. Because if there is something in there, like I'm going to put like a save, put like a destination and source text. I want that to clear. And uh, if uh, folder bra uh, folder browser dialog one dot show dialog um, or yeah equals dialog result. Oops, dialog result dot okay. Uh, then we want the text box one dot text to equal the folder dollar browser dot uh, dot selected path I think yeah okay um, and if it's anything else else uh, text box one dot text equals nothing in case there's a problem and uh, we can now end that if and uh, that's the first part of our program done so that's how we can get it to let me put this in 100 this is how we can get it to show the the not string but the location in the text box so let's do the same for the second one except we're going to change it to text box 2 and we're probably going to want to end that if yeah Great, so if I run my program now, and I just uh, select any old location, yeah, Windows Store Images, bang, there we have it, cool. Alright, now we're going to do the save button, which I suppose is the funnest, because this is where the real magic happens. So, uh, because I want to add the strings from the two text boxes, um, I'm going to I'm going to declare them so dim location as string and dim location save as string 
and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do location equals textbox one dot text and location save equals textbox two dot text. So when I run the program, those um, will be the where it's going to look for. Uh, so okay. I'm just going to make this basic. Uh, I'll make a basic one and then you can go over it and fix the errors that say if someone puts in a location that doesn't exist then the f program will crash so you can use a try, uh, a try and um, it's called a try like this and you can work out where the problem is. So okay so um, I'm just going to go ahead and just do my dot computer dot file system dot uh, copy directory yep and yeah see there's the source and there's the destination and yep okay so put some brackets there so location and we want the location save and it says here about things being yeah if you want to overwrite, then write in true. If else, no. Type in false. And uh, yeah, so this is basically what you need to do to get the program to work. Uh, if you wanted to know that, hey, it's copied, we can put a label here or a message box, whatever you prefer. And uh, if it is completed, then we put the label label one dot text equals um, completed. And this is a really simple tutorial, but hey, it'll get you in the right direction. If you want to see more things like this, like a more in-depth tutorial, then hey, let me know in the comments. And we want to show the location save, because we want to, I guess, see that that's where it lives. So, if I run my program, of course you can delete that. And let's say I want Facebook, my embassy, Facebook. Okay, and I want the destination. Oops, I just cleared that thing, I think I did. I did too. We didn't want to clear textbox one. <laughs> we want to clear textbox two. Because if the previous, if you copy this twice, then at least uh, it'll clear. So for example, if I just get pictures, and then hey, I want to do something else, at least it clears. Um, Alright, so let's just pick uh, documents and Facebook, and then their destination. Well, let's just put them on the desktop. Let's put this Facebook stuff. Press OK. Yeah. And press save. And because this is a big file, it's going to take us time. So if you wanted to, you could add the label here and make it say something else. Um, I do assure that this is copying, or else, hey, it would have crashed by now. Um, so just wait, bear with it. There's probably lots of stuff on that Facebook folder too. Let me pick a different folder, because uh, clearly that was not the best choice at this stage. Just pick a uh, documents, and today, I really hope there's not much on there. <laughs> and a new folder. Did I put that in the desktop? New folder. See, Facebook stuff there today. And save. And once it's saved, it should make the label change to that. There must be a lot of stuff in that folder too. Huh, there we go. Completed, and this is the where it's living. So of course you can make it look pretty if you want by dragging that over or whatnot, this label and stuff. But this is just a simple tutorial on how you can get started. And also what you could do is once it is completed then you can just clear the text boxes. Text box one dot clear one as well that's so much faster. I suppose it's because with uh, Windows Phone development you have to put it in like that. And clear the label too. Actually don't clear the label, we want to see that label. So yeah, this is just simple program on how you can make a um, make a folder browser dialog and how you can make it back up. Of course, you, it, this is not perfect, but this will lead you in the right direction. Uh, like I said, if I was to put in uh, folders and files that didn't exist, say Andrew and Andrew, 
then that's not going to work. So, I mean, a way around that, I suppose, is you can make this read only. So, just quickly, if you don't know how to do that, we can just go to events and go to load. And we can write textbox text box one dot uh, is it read read only equals true and text box two dot read only equals true. There we go, so there's a way around the text boxes so now the user can't write anything silly in there. You see, I can't delete it, I can't do anything, I could probably copy it, but other than that there's nothing I can do. So yeah. Anyways guys, if you like this video and would like a more in-depth um, version of this video, then please let me know and we can go over the things, the possible errors that could occur and stuff like that. And if not, I'll see you next one. Thanks for that. Bye-bye.